take this from me. Just keep going. I'm gonna take my own advice. babies and welcome back to another video welcome back to another vlog with your girl brooke kennedy if you're new here welcome go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the brookie baby gang because the brookie babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too so happy tuesday you guys what today is tuesday it's taco tuesday and we are not eating tacos your girl is actually waiting on some salmon it's to come out of the salmon. oven. <laughs> it's salmon, man. Okay, so y'all, listen. I've always called it salmon. Salmon. I can't even say it now. Salmon. I've always called it salmon. But some people were telling me it's salmon. So now yeah. Kevin mad that I be saying salmon instead of salmon. She's trying to act like she forgot where she came from, man. I'm never going to forget where I came from. We say salmon. He yeah, talking about just like we say Houston and they say Houston is salmon and you not say, salmon. What you say, pecan or pecan? Pecan. Exactly. If you, everybody else will be like, it's pecan pie. It's pecan. <laughs> you from the South, you say pecan pie. You don't say nothing pecan pie. <laughs> I don't even want that pie. It don't even sound like no more. You guys, we're having salmon. Thank you. Mashed potatoes and asparagus. Nice I'm done salmon, with the. Life. What? Now you sound my wife in there. <laughs> I don't know where you use it. They gonna stay in Minnesota though. So. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. But anywho, we have the mashed potatoes and asparagus done already. The salmon has about three minutes, five minutes, honestly. And we are about to get ready to go to Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah, girl. We get ready to go to Home Depot because the house updates and things continue. I told you guys I'm so excited to get back into getting this house together. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all this door. Get ready to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, the way we did the office door, that's what's about to happen with this one. So I already have in mind what I'm gonna do. And I'm trying to see if that's going to be included in this video or if I'm going to do something else that I have to or, or do something else that I want to put together in regards to the house itself. So I don't know. We're going to figure that out. And yeah, so we're getting ready to go there. I just wanted to basically come on camera, go ahead and introduce the vlog. Y'all, your girl is so sore. Today is I have something like in my throat. I just ate some yogurt with granola and you know how you feel like you have like little bits and crumbs like little small. I feel like I swallowed like some black pepper. <clears throat> yeah, but um, I started back in the gym this week y'all and I'm so sore, but it feels so good to be back. So today was day two. I know it ain't much. I know it ain't much, but it's something, okay? Your girl is getting back on track. I said I was in my Sunday reset. Well, not a Sunday reset. In my last reset, I said I was about to get back on track. So, fingers crossed, we go tomorrow for day three. But yeah, let me go ahead and get this out of the oven, put it up so we can run out, do that, come back, eat dinner, and relax. So, I'll see you guys either in the car or when we get to Home Depot. Lowe's actually has the door as well, but it was more expensive from Lowe's. So we're gonna stick to Home Depot because that's who did the office door. So let's come on. All right, y'all, real quick. I wanna show you where you can find this. I felt like I showed this before. You know what? I recorded this and was supposed to include it in the transformation, but we're gonna go with Jet Black again. And this is the door, but I have to get the pantry door measurements and you see they have this door it looks like this i don't want that i do like this one too i thought about doing this one we did it online and we did it right there we gonna do it online. yeah because this one's smaller anyway <laughs> did it all once, so. okay 
Okay. Buy a house, come down and deep up. Exactly. Of our favorite president, Trump. President Trump, not Mr. Trump. He wants to have influence in the Federal Reserve decision making. Mm -hmm. He's lost his mind. You gonna vote this time for him? I didn't vote the last time for him. <laughs> okay, so Obama, I think he did okay. If I voted for him, second. Okay, I like that. Then I voted for uh, Trump. And you knew better. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah. Well, thanks, Tom. I appreciate you. All right, y'all. We are back home. That was quick and easy. It took about an hour because Tom be running his mouth. He's so sweet, but oh lord, he love to talk. I think he be trying to kill time. And um, sir, I know you're ready to get off, but I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you until you get off. So. I gotta go. I gotta eat dinner. So basically what you do is you pay like $40 for them to come out here and do a full measurement. What he was trying to tell me is I should have killed two birds with one stone, but it still costs the same thing for installation. You know what? He lying because if he right, but he's not right. I'm gonna tell this man to do this job that he's not right. But <laughs> what I'm trying to say is if I would have did both doors at the same time, it would have been one installation fee. Yeah. But because it's like a whole new process, I'm having to pay again. Whatever. You live and you learn. So take that from me. If y'all know y'all want to do this in your house, girl, do it at one time. So you don't pay that money for the installation fee twice. But yeah, they're going to come out. He said it should be this week. He's talking about tomorrow. So we'll see. They're going to come out and basically what they do is they measure to see which door they really need to order or which door they need to order. And then once they get here, if they need to like shave it down a little bit, they'll do that because they did that with the office door. And then they're going to pop it on. So they come do that. Then they call you. They let you know. You come in the store. You can order the door right there at their desk. And then we can pick out the hinges and the doorknob which will be the same ones as the office door and yeah mm, mm, mm. and it will be done and then i need to do my pantry so we need to do that y'all <laughs> let me try to find i need to find the clip from living in hinesville telling them i was gonna give them a pantry organization video terrible 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 but let me tell you the pantry to me it'd be out of sight out of mind but i shouldn't be that way because it does look really good when it's organized but it's out of sight out of mind so i'm working on becoming a fully organized person below the surface y'all know pretty much my bathroom is organized underneath my kitchen cabinet is okay and yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. Y'all should see the mail drawer. Yikes. So we're gonna work on that one of these days, but not today. So that's pretty much it. I think I'm about to go hop on my couch, find me something to watch, a vlog, of course, scroll on TikTok, do whatever for a little bit, and then call it a night. So I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning, and I'm gonna try to do my best to bring you guys with me because we gotta get on our ish. We gotta get on our ish, okay? And we gonna do that. We gonna do that. And I'm proud of myself because normally after my birthday, I don't go to the gym this fast. It be low key giving. I be working out, working out up until my birthday. But I'm not trying to be that girl no more. Like we're not working out up until something. It's a lifestyle, not a temporary movement in my life anymore if that makes sense so shout out to the gym girlies that work out non-stop consistently like that crazy man over there he's psycho you got anything you want to say to the people no. oh. about fitness and how to be consistent you want to tell me your tips stay committed you need Just to put new water in there stay committed discipline Know your why. Sometimes people use it for mental. Some people use it to look better. Some people do it to feel better. To be healthier. Some people do it to extend their life. 
just you just gotta think about all that stuff when you're putting into it. And then the days you don't want to get up, that's the days you need to get up. Most times it'd be your best workout. You gotta put through. You better say that. Pastor Cooper. Yes, sir. Ski. That's Please. my amen. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. Ski. Amen. Let the church say, amen. Let the church say, yes, sir, ski. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, okay? Yes, sir, ski. Hey, mate. He's the best. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> oh. Yeah. With my treacherous little twin, and you know that we lock in, and I love you like my kin, it's whatever for you. I go up and down that road, I go anywhere you go When you tell me life is good, I want better for you You my team, you my team, you my treacherous little team You my twin, you my treacherous little team You my twin, you my treacherous little team Yeah, fuck what they say Good morning, babe. Take this from me. Don't stop going to the gym. Just keep going. I'm gonna take my own advice. Not a safe place, but I know you're riding with your twin till we fade away. We used to have nothing to our names, still had great days. Always kept me on, umbrella at all when the rain came. You tell me you want something, I would tell you the same thing. Now when we come through inside this bitch, they gotta make it. What's up, babes? Happy Wednesday. I know I checked in a little bit when I was in the gym this morning, but happy Wednesday. I am on my lunch break. I had a good workout this morning. I was super sore yesterday, but I feel better because I did leg day today. So now it's just my arms and upper body that's really sore. My legs are starting to loosen up and just feel normal again because I worked them this morning. But yeah, I had a good workout. Let me know if y'all want me to start like listing my workouts that I'm doing in the description box below. Um, probably the days where I do go to the gym and I film like every workout that I do, I'll probably put it across the screen, what it is or what it's called and how many reps that I do. But normally I do between four to 10. So 10 reps, four times. Um, if I'm going heavy, I'll do like four to eight. So four, four times eight reps and then if i'm doing like a progressive overload you can either start with high reps and go to low reps or you can start low and go higher most times it's higher reps than going low that's what we be doing so yeah let me know if y'all are interested but i'm so tired y'all like i'm almost readjusted back to waking up at five but yeah it'd be a struggle like i'd be having so much energy but I don't know what it is around my lunch break. I also think it's a mind thing because I be trying to take a nap sometimes, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm about to go ahead and cook dinner so that when I get off, I can lay down and relax. Home Depot, they call. They're going to be here tomorrow between two and four. So I'm excited because they're going to come in, measure out the door right here. And then Friday, I'll probably go in and put in the order for it. So that I can at least have it done by possibly have them come put it in before Thursday of next week. Thursday at the latest because we are going to be leaving here Thursday night because we're going out of town. Make sure I have everything lined up for that trip. Should be fun. But yeah, I'm about to cook some spaghetti, do something quick because like I said, I'm on my lunch break. So I need something that's about a 30 to 40 minute meal. So I'm going to do some spaghetti and y'all know in this household, we love corn on top of our spaghetti. So I'm going to do spaghetti and corn. And then this evening when we're getting ready to eat, I'll probably have some garlic bread on the side. Don't need it, but want it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it today. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So let's cook this food. And then afterwards, I will probably check in with you guys later once I'm up from my nap. If I'm doing anything, I really need to fold some clothes and I need to like, I need to kind of like organize my beauty room and get stuff moved out of it for a second and just put it over in the other guest room so I can kind of measure how I want stuff and get ready to work on that space. And then I have some other spaces that I want to work on in the house. I just have some stuff that I need to do. I also want to go to at home to look for some stuff for my bedroom. I just have some stuff that I need to do. Just small stuff here and there. 
and I need to plan out some content. So yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do, girl, but that's what we doing right now. Or that's what we fin what we finna do right now is cook, and then we just gonna go with the flow. So um, let's get it. Hey you guys, happy Thursday. So we have so much going on today y'all. Contractors came today and fixed some stuff in the bathroom. We are gonna talk about it later. And now the guy from Home Depot just pulled up. So I'ma check back in and keep y'all up to speed, but I wanted to vlog this portion so you guys can see what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, hold on. check in with you guys this evening i didn't go to the gym this morning girl let me tell you what happened real quick so i have my alarm set for 4 45 and 5 o'clock i have to get out the bed by 5 10 5 15 5 10 to get to the gym by 6 or like 5 50. girl normally i can you know turn off the two alarms that go off 4 45 and 5 o'clock and my body will just naturally wake up in the next like 15 minutes girl i turned that five o'clock alarm off and went back into a deep sleep and naturally woke up at 5 58 yeah mm -mm. i was gonna get to the gym at 6 30 so that was a no so i'm probably gonna go this evening because tomorrow's gonna be a long day and getting up at five tomorrow and then having a long day i have to go to run a robins yeah so i think i'm gonna push through and go this evening and I gotta film a clip for something else. So I low-key need to do my makeup. But I don't wanna go to the gym with makeup on. But it ain't no excuse. You just better wash your face real good. So we'll figure that out. But I'll check in with you guys this evening, okay? Your girl is off of work y'all i did my makeup and didn't even record what i was supposed to record so it is what it is at least i'll be cute going to the gym but i'm about to get ready to head out i'm off of work but you know what i just realized i've never showed you guys what's in my gym bag can we have a what's in my gym bag little quick segment it's not a whole lot but anyways this is my gym bag 
that I carry when I go to the gym four months out of 12, I'm just playing. <laughs> we gonna do better, but what I have in here is my weight bar or barbell, barbell pad, because this is not a weight bar, this is not a bar. It's my barbell pad. I got this from Amazon. It also comes with like these little straps on the side where you can like hook it on the bar. I don't need all that because it pretty much stays on there. I also have my resistance bands. I have three of them, but I don't know where the other one is. Hold on, I got it. Here we go. And it goes from easiest to the most difficult or more resistant versus less resistant. I can't remember, girl, so I just be putting on all three. Whatever one I grab is what I grab. And then I have this little like, I don't know what you would call this. It's almost like a resistant band, but they're really good for like stretching. And this honestly feels so good because I work arms on Tuesday and today is arm day. And that feels so good. Woo! I got this from Kevin. He has like three of these. So he gave me one. And then I have my little ankle straps in here too. These are from Amazon. I use these on leg day sometimes especially when i'm doing like cable kickbacks then i have my gloves in here these are nike i got these from sports academy i have a jump rope now because y'all know my husband got me a jump rope because he was low-key calling me a little juicy i'm getting i'm getting a little juicy i was i was i have gotten a little juicy um and then i always carry my beats gotta have my beats gotta have my music and then my apple watch and then my Apple Watch is upstairs. I'm gonna grab that before I leave. I keep a comb in my bag. And what else? Oh, and I keep a Nike headband. For one, it's super, super cute. But y'all be wondering like how I keep my hair in place. I don't sweat on my forehead or like in my head like that. So luckily my lace doesn't lift. Sometimes it will. If I have on a hat, girl, the whole wig be off when I get home. But if I do feel it like lifting or slipping a little bit, that's why I make sure to have one of these in my gym bag because I can just tie it down. This is like tying down your actual like, you know, lace when you're going to bed or when you're styling your hair. These are actually really good for that too, not just for my gym girl. So, yep. And then I try to keep, I need to throw this one away. But I also try to keep me like a little snack or something just in case you in the gym and you start getting like woozy or feeling like a little dizzy and you need a little pick me up. It's always good to have something like a peppermint, some type of candy or something in case you feel like your sugar is dropping or you're getting weak. And then y'all know my water bottle. Hold on. Oh, one more thing. Here are my nike slides I've had these for a while now um i just love putting these on when i'm walking out the gym or when i'm going in the sauna when i go in the sauna i like to take off my shoes like i work out with my shoes off a lot too so i will have these in my bag so when i'm walking out the sauna in the sauna stuff like that and then my water bottle that i highly recommend other than a stanley cup because i heard that one's good i don't have one but it's a fall color one that came out I saw Sharika post it on her story and I think she shared it in her, one of her vlogs. And I was like, mm, cause she was saying she don't have one either. I think that's what Sharika was saying. Could be wrong, but she was showing these two fall color looking one and they are really, really cute. So I might get that. And here is my water bottle. This is the brand. You can get this at Best Buy, Target, Amazon, and I'm not sure where else, but I know for sure those few places. I love it because it doesn't sweat. It keeps your, y'all, this keeps my water cold for like 48 hours. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I would say to play it safe 30 hours. My water stays closed. And again, I like that it doesn't have the sweat. I like the um, rubber grip bottom. And what I like about it is, it's the mouthpiece is covered. And then y'all know my waist trainer is the uh, sweet sweat i have had this thing for years or i've been using this one this brand for years i started using sweet sweat when we moved to virginia is that when i first ordered yeah i've had it a while 
But yeah, so that was my little what's in my gym bag segment. Um, I think I'm gonna make me some pre-workout because I did eat a sandwich, as you guys saw. Normally, if I don't eat something and I go to the gym at this time, I will feel sick or I will feel woozy, but like I'm feeling pumped, I'm full, I'm not like hungry, so I think I'm gonna make me some pre-workout. Let me show y'all that too. This for my girls that are new to the channel. What's up, baby? What's up, babe? You look good, babe. So this is the one I prefer. This one is the Island Crush by Alunu, right? And then this is my new one because I couldn't find that one in any store. So Kevin picked me up the Hawaiian Shave Ice. This one tastes pretty, focus. This one tastes pretty good. But this one is so good. Like, girl, I have to remind myself that this is a pre-workout and not some type of juice or something because I will overdo it. But, yeah. So, I'm going to make me some of this one so I can go ahead and finish it up. And then we'll start fresh with this one. I don't got to go to the gym tomorrow because I did my four days, boo. Yeah. But I might go. I might go, though. I might go just to push myself. We may do some little light cardio or something. You know, go over and beyond. Five days, the first week back. Yeah, don't play with me. <laughs> All right, let's get ready to head out. I may vlog. We'll see. It'd be a lot of people in the evening, and I um, I know why they be looking. I would be looking too, but uh, uh, let me work out, please, 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 sir. No. <laughs> Hey babes, happy Friday. Y'all, I can't even remember if I checked in earlier. Did we vlog today? Girl, I don't know, it's been a long day, but it's 5.30. I just got off of work. I'm about to get dressed. I'm going to my hometown because my cousin, Chandra, she got promoted today. So yeah, she all about her paper. I'm so proud of her, she making boss moves. And so earlier this week, or last week she sent out invitations and she wanted to celebrate with all of her friends and her family those that can make it so I was like you know what let me try to do what it do so I'm about to go celebrate with her and I want to say we're supposed to meet at the spot at 10 30 we're going to this um it's like a hookah lounge it's called digital smoke and Ronald Robbins I've been there before I've taken you guys there probably two or three times now. So that's where we're going. I'm not sure if we're gonna go get some food before, but we're just gonna go from there. I might not vlog that much because I kind of just wanna be in that moment. And I'm kind of tired because I've worked all day. I gotta hurry up and get dressed, hit the road. So I can be playing around. But yeah, I just wanna hop back on the camera, let you guys know what I'm doing. And I will either see you guys at Chandra's house or Additional. Yes, so Chandra, Progresso. Hey babes, happy Saturday. So it is currently 2.23. Your girl is about to head out. My mom is here. I went and got my lashes done this morning. Last night we had fun. Um, I didn't vlog a lot, but we did have fun. Again, congratulations to my girl, Chandra, my cousin, for her promotion. But yeah, my mom is here. We are about to go grab us some lunch at Longhorns. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna go to Lowe's for something. Say hello, mom. Hello. 
we're going to Lowe's and then she wants to go to at home because she needs some more outdoor so, pillows. Yes, because they I bought all the black ones they had in um, Warner Robins. So yep. I need to see what you got over here. Yeah. See what y'all cooking with in Columbus, Georgia. And you know we're getting home goods. So you yeah, have I heard. So you have three now. Macon, Runner Robins, and Columbus. That's right. We're gonna get them all. So yeah, but we starving, so we about to go. Yes. Get something to eat. For to eat. And then make it do what it do. Okay. Say Let's okay. Do you driving? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And I like the color. I gave the one to B that, um, I don't know why. You used to have a green chair like this. Mm -hmm. And I it gave it to B. <laughs> hey guys, we're done eating at Longhorns. We were sitting in Longhorns for about 40 minutes. Bad storm outside. And then we were able to make our way over to at home. So they now I'm just chilling. Tennis. That's crazy. My show on the chair, I'm laying it out here. Yeah, this is comfy. I, I need this. I'm putting this in my living room. Please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. Fifty nine, sixty dollars. Sixteen dollars for this shit. Oh, oh, okay. Sixteen. I was gonna say, yeah. I go ahead. It's sixty dollars. Flip it. Okay, girl. <laughs> it's cute. We need that. Yeah. Look at the fall decor. Hello, pumpkin. It's cute. What you want us to look at now, ma? Oh, they got a black one. I like the black one. But I don't think that's a Dodger. So this is a nice fire pit. Yep. That's the same size as ours. And I, I sprayed mine black. It's the exact same one, actually. It's nice. We're going to use that thing this year. We are. For real, for real. I remember we came in here for the pillows. Right. Don't have them. She's going to have to order them. Yep. So let us know if you know somewhere online we can get some really good outdoor pillows. Right. Really. For a really good price. I better get, I better get those, a couple of those other tan pillows. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, I that's have, perfect like, this together. Out there. Yeah, I already have some so of these, but, but I got all the head of these, so I guess I better get some of these too. Just How many you need? Um, cause you can't buy the house though. Leave some for the brookie babies, please. I am, I am brookie babies. She ain't. Four would do it. I just, like these. Just in case I can't. Get I gotta do my back. Oh, this is a good hiding spot if you work here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just crawl right over up in there and take you a good little nap. Not me. And it's sure her. It in the, in the Bad influence. We'll find something to buy every time. At home is a perfect place to get these. Yes. Good decorative pieces. She needs two. I think three. these are solid black right here. But they're seven foot. But let's let's see if that's gonna be tall enough. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm finishing. You finna go to bed. You finna go to bed. <laughs> Ma, don't come over here with this foolishness. It's storming out. <laughs> if y'all need some ottomans, <clears throat> like in my office, come to at home. Oh, and it has the ones with the storage. We love that. Ooh, ooh, girl. That, brown is so that is pretty though. You can't see. Oh God, I'm finna take her home. So she talking about this some eucalyptus for people that can't see. Nah, but this is really pretty. But it's not. Man, I know you did not just smell this. I thought it was scented, like the other eucalyptus. You, it's not. you on some milk. What's up, babes? Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, August 22nd. I know, I know, I dropped the ball so bad. This whole week, I fumbled. I fumbled. Flag on the play. Your girl fumbled. I think I said that right, I don't know. <laughs> but let me just catch y'all up. We gotta, we gotta get caught up. Let me, let me catch y'all up, okay? So, and y'all know I really hate 
doing this but it's not like i'm about to tell y'all a bunch of events that i had going on and then include footage i don't like doing that because it's a vlog y'all came here to see what the heck i've been doing so i'm gonna make this quick saturday i never checked back in but me and mama cookie had a good time after at home we came here and she was only here for like 30 minutes because y'all know it was raining really bad so we waited for that to die down and then she left and went home i relaxed a little bit and then my cousin chandra and silver they came we went out to eat they spent the night and we just chilled we just had a good time and then sunday oh sunday i was so tired i just laid around slept all day they probably left here around four o'clock now on to monday monday i went to the gym i can't remember if i cooked on monday no i didn't because my mom sent plates by kevin because he went home on saturday to visit his family so monday night i watched the love island reunion so i just want to talk about that real quick if you have not watched love island please skip through pause and skip through i'm probably going to do a timestamp. please skip through because i really hate it when people ruin shows for other people and it usually be the main people talking about they don't like to spoil the show, but they be posting on their Instagram story and they just be telling too much. Like, just post that you watching Love Island in your living room. But if you say something like, Kayler blew me with this, she knew that he was like this. You're spoiling the show. You think you're not saying what's going on, but you're saying what's going on. You're basically telling the person that's watching it from the beginning, thinking they're all in love, and then seeing your post, something went wrong. You're spoiling the show. But I don't think some people process that. So, please skip through because I don't want to spoil it for you so let's talk about the reunion you guys why did y'all hype that up so bad I feel like they had us anticipating some real good juicy stuff and it just was not that so let's talk about the looks I'm just talking about one time for Janae eight beautiful like she is a Barbie like I don't care. I already know what some people thinking. Natural design. Uh, mm, uh. She's beautiful. She looked beautiful. Hair slate, makeup slate. She looks so good. Her and Kenny are a very, very beautiful couple. Like I can really see them getting married and just having this beautiful family. So I love that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Koi cracked me up with that apology because I just feel like he knew like there was no beef between y'all really it's just that it kind of seemed like what are you here for like you're not trying to open up like look at your name okay we, we ain't got time to be pulling back layers you don't want to open up you don't want to talk you don't want to get to know my girl move move out the way because what God had behind that door Kenny come get her <laughs> come get her and he did so it, it just worked out but I feel like it was very mature of him to apologize and it was very safe of him especially with Liv being there and if y'all know what I'm talking about y'all know what I mean when I say very safe because Liv I love Liv and then sometimes I be like Liv <sighs> Liv just <laughs> Liv is no filter rah rah like i gotta know what her zodiac sign is because Liv, she gonna I'm, I'm not gonna say she always be right but she is going to speak her mind she has no problem standing up for her friends and saying what's directly on her mind and saying what some other people might not want to say she gonna say it so i do like that about her but i think sometimes she just need to pull it back just a little bit just a little bit if i were her friend i'd be like friend you know you have to say that like that. but she cool she cool for the most part i think her and harrison i think that's his name the jeweler from miami yeah hmm. beautiful couple i think they need to get together yeah because them eyes if they have some little functions oh my god yeah they need to they need to talk <sighs> now fuck aaron yeah them mm-hmm I had to do it one time. Just, I ain't saying forever, but just, just for a little bit. 
I was kind of confused. I was slightly confused because you said you watched back the season. Kayla said she watched back the season and realized that is not what she deserved. But then she said she was with Aaron three nights before the reunion, if I'm correct. When did you watch back the season and realize that's not what you deserve? Was it the day of the reunion? I was confused there, but I don't really care about that too much because I know us women, like, been there, done that girl. We know that ain't what we need, what we deserve, but you just keep going out there and sticking your foot in that dang old hot water. And it's really lava, but you acting like it's just hot water. It's lava, okay? It's a volcano. It's gonna explode, but you wanna keep trying to find up. Yeah, I think they just need to just give it some time. And I really hate how it kind of looked like Aaron was getting attacked because I don't think him. I read like some stuff on TikTok and comments. People said he tried to pull the losing a family member card to get sympathy. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't feel like anybody does that to get sympathy. Like he really was going through something like that's just something that has really nothing to do with Love Island. Like we got to be there for him on that. But I just think them too. They just need to just give it a break. Just give it a back break. And if it's meant to be, maybe y'all will come back. I feel like potentially it could be like Aaron was there to do the full experiment. And it's kind of like because they clicked up so fast, y'all, in my opinion, it's kind of like they came in in a relationship already. Because it was just like, oh, I like you. Close off. They never got tested. And when they got tested, it was like he just was so horrible. I think the issue is he just kept telling stuff piece by piece. And it was like it kept lingering on. Versus when you got back from Casa, you should have just told everything at once. So y'all could be done with it. I think that's really more the issue, which I can understand. Because it's just like, just give it to me raw. Like, tell me everything. Don't be, uh-uh. Don't be trying to make me a sandwich and add all the toppings later. Like, give me my sandwich, my sub, the way I want it the first time. So I don't have to keep coming back up here. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy. So, yeah. Um... Nicole and Kendall. I feel where Nicole is coming from. She felt like the world was against her. She didn't speak out to protect Kendall. And he didn't speak out to protect her. Baby, his whole world, his whole world got flipped upside down. You know how embarrassing it is to go through what he probably went through. That is exactly why I don't do stuff like that. I tell my homegirls, I'm not the, no, no, I'm only propping up the camera to talk to my brookie babies, okay? All that, I I don't, I don't even trust my own phone. I be nervous. Uh-uh, what if it get lost? What if somebody steal it and hack it? I don't even, I know, I know what's going on. I don't need, I don't need to go back and watch nothing, okay? So, yeah. Be careful if y'all be doing that, Bricky Babies. Be careful now nah, if y'all be out here sending it. <laughs> be careful. But I just feel like it was kind of insensitive. I think that's where I just kind of feel like she wasn't understanding what everybody was trying to say. Like, you're not the one that's embarrassed in front of the entire world. You're not the one that's getting questioned about your sexuality. He is. So I get that you're hurt, but you could have just spoken out yourself. Why wait on somebody that's already going through stuff, already having to speak out eventually about this, explain this to everybody, his family probably, like he already has a lot more that he has to speak out on. And you want to add on you because you feel like he's supposed to protect you. I get it though. I feel like it's kind of like 50, 50. Y'all just need to go and heal together. And if y'all want to be together, work on it. So there's that last thing because i don't want to talk about it too much the andrea situation wait a minute wait a minute let's go back to janae pulling out that um that notepad with them receipts that's kind of me y'all like that probably would have been me if i was in P pbg i would probably be either y'all probably like girl you would be leo <laughs> only because she's a leo kind of but a combination of all of them it's something about all three of them that i love and i'm talking about serena leah and janae 
I like how Serena was just so, she definitely gave Virgo. And I think she is a Virgo. Yeah, she is. Definitely gave that. Like, this is it. This is what I think. I rock with my girls, but I don't have to agree with everything they say. I just love it. I just really, really loved how she handled it. I love how Janae came with the receipt. So I have everything on paper. I don't forget. And then Leah, I think that is me. I can see like, I can see my mom sitting over there, the Virgo, looking at me like, okay, I, I, I knew you were going to say that. You, you, you saying everything you need to say, but you ain't got to do all that. You ain't got to say all that at some points. But I feel like they could have took it a little easy on Andrea or Andrea, however you say her name. I'm sorry. But it was just the pain in her face. Like, yeah, you were wrong now for what she was doing. But I just felt like sometimes it's like, okay, you say it to a person and then you know you're on the back end and you're like, all right, y'all, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Like, she get it. She get it. That's. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm on my lunch break, but my phone is ringing. Um. But like, it was just kind of like, okay, 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 y'all. She get it, she get it. We can, we can lighten up. So yeah, overall, I feel like they stayed too long on that situation and how she got voted off and everything. That was way too long. So that's all I gotta say about that. That's what I did Monday. Hold on, you guys, I'll be right back. I went and turned down my work phone because I'm on my lunch break. It's 12-12. Ma. I'm on my lunch break. I don't know if you can see that. It's 12 19. Don't be trying to fire me thinking I wasn't working and blogging. But um, it kept ringing, so it was driving me nuts. I went and go turn that down. But yeah, so that was Monday. I just wanted to talk about that because I'm like, man, y'all had us sitting up here waiting. We ain't even hear nothing about Serena and Cordell long enough. They the winners. Like, why we focus so much on the negativity? But that's just the world we live in, literally, majority of the time. You know, we gotta work on that. We gotta start focusing on the positive. The rest of the week, your girl just worked out, cook. I've been ordering some stuff for the house. So let me show you what I ordered because as you guys saw earlier in this vlog, they have measured the door, it's ordered. It should be here tomorrow. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. So I'm going to hope that it comes Tuesday instead or I'm gonna ask Sheena if she can grab the door and put it in her garage or in her home until I come back because I don't want it to sit out the whole weekend because y'all were going on another trip but I ordered some stuff for the house and let me show you let me show it to you I just made an Amazon order honestly y'all I'm only going to share with you these cabinet knobs that I ordered because I'm gonna do um, some changes in the kitchen. Very small changes that I feel like are going to make a big difference. So I'll probably include that in another vlog. I was hoping I could get this door in this vlog, but again, I ordered it to the house this time instead of to the store and having Home Depot bring it because I'm actually going to be doing something custom to it myself. So I needed it here first so I can do that and then have them come and install it. But I need to call them to see if I'm allowed to do that. Because sometimes some stores will have it set up like you can't do any changes to it until they complete their installation. So if anything happens, you can't blame the store for it. It's on me instead of them. So I need to call and double check. But as you guys know, when we first moved here, way back to the moving vlog, I was going to switch out the cabinet knobs or considering switching them out to black. And I am gonna do that. I definitely feel like it's gonna look really good with the pantry door. But I ordered these knobs off of, these knobs and handles off of Amazon. And I had Kevin put one of them on the cabinet. And I don't know, I know these are very, very popular. A lot of people have them in their home. But for me, I don't know if it's the roundness of it or I don't know if I'm so like used to the ones that I have and I love the look of them. I didn't really like these on my cabinet. So this is how these look. They're from Amazon. Like I said, they ve they're very, very popular. A lot of people have these and they're cute. I just don't think I like the roundness of it. I want more of a square or just like a straight finish. So this is the one that goes on 
the cabinets that just have the little one hook and then I have some drawers that have these handles on there so I ordered these as well and I'm just not feeling them so I was able to go on Amazon and return these I actually have to go drop these off I need to do that today um, I'm gonna go drop these off and return them and then um, uh -oh. um I'm gonna return these but I went back on Amazon and this same company literally sells my from what it looked like my exact pools and um knobs in black so I'm gonna have the same look just a different color and I did think about taking these off and spray painting them but I feel like over time it will it's gonna chip and I don't want no cheap looking I want it right when it comes to hardware and stuff like that I want it right like it needs to be right so this is the brand if you guys are interested you'll see more details on the next video where I'm actually transforming or updating this space you'll see the video but if you're interested this is the brand if you do like these or just want to see the different ones they have I will link them below okay also your girl finally got a new car mount because y'all know I was struggling with the old one so this one should definitely work I feel like it is I actually went outside and played with it yesterday so I'm gonna go hook this up in my Jeep and see if it is gonna do what I need it to do so let's go do that real quick I also ordered some other stuff but you guys will see that later on and yeah I changed my hair I put on this um it's a loose wave or natural wave wig I used to I wore this when I went to Panama back in February when I went on that girl's trip so I just decided to wash it style it in the middle part and I feel like it's going to be perfect for our vacation this weekend because we are going to the beach an area with the beach so I feel like it'll be nice it'll be easy we have a nice Airbnb so we can get in the pool I can get it wet it'll just curl up it's just gonna be easy for me especially with that type of vibe that we're gonna be on so yeah I actually get off today I know it's a lot y'all but I gotta let y'all know what's going on but yeah um I get off today at 3 30 because I told my mom I'm like I'm just so backed up like I have so much to do I feel like I hate when I feel like this because I get a little overwhelmed and I feel like I'm forgetting something that's very important but I also work better under pressure so when I get off at 3 30 I'm gonna run and grab I think I just need two things and I need to also go get my eyebrows waxed and then come back and pack because I have not packed one thing I haven't packed one thing y'all I literally put in a order yesterday and it's supposed to be here today hopefully for stuff I need to wear down here and I don't even know if it's gonna fit so if it don't fit we're gonna have to go to the mall which is already on our itinerary the mall and the outlet but we're gonna have to go the first day because I'm gonna need some stuff to wear and I know y'all thinking Brooke you got plenty clothes I do let me work on my problems alone all right let's go in the car so I think I want to do it I put it right here let me see y'all can see okay yeah oh oh hold on oh crap Okay, y'all, we're going to test it out. We're going to go drive around the neighborhood. Let me go get my key. I'm excited. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I'm so happy. This don't make no sense. This don't make no sense. Y'all, I just be procrastinating on stuff. This thing was like 10 This thing was like 10 or $20 on Amazon. Let me not get too excited. Let me drive first. And I'm acting like... And it took me this long to order one. Okay, y'all. Ain't got no blicket, boy. Ain't got no blicket, boy. Throw up your fit, buddy. Oh, 
Get in the field, go get that jet for me. Okay, hold on. Let me put y'all hush, Lotto. Hush, Lotto. Hush now. Okay, hold on. Let me put y'all back to where y'all was at. Cause y'all was wobbling like crazy sitting up there. Okay. That's the least of my worries right now. My Fashion Nova order has been delivered. I saw it by the front door and I got the text message. So I'm gonna go get that and then I'm about to eat real quick and I'm gonna check in with y'all when I get off and we go run these errands and I come back and pack real quick. And yeah, and yeah, so I will I'll holler at you guys later. All right, y'all. So I have laid out everything. I'm about to go ahead and pack so I can run these errands real quick. But over here are the night fits. I have a denim jumpsuit, this dress I got from H&M, top from Zara, and some black shorts. These, let's see. These two like nude and brown combo bodysuit with some shorts. And then, and right here, I just have a top and some shorts. These camo shorts, a nude pair with a nice white top. This little set from Zara. And then I just have like two bodysuits. Well, one bodysuit and a top and some shorts. These are from H&M. And I want to say the tops are two. No, that one's Fashion Nova. This one is H&M. And then this is just a little cute black dress. I got from H&M so all of these right here are night fits these are gonna be like daytime options and then right here is like one of those little tennis skirts the little pin skirts or whatever I got that from H&M and then I have this cute top I don't know if I want to wear it with this I really want a white tennis skirt and I saw one in Walmart so I think I'm gonna stop by there and see if I can get one and then these are travel fits so I'm gonna wear this going down and wear this one coming back got some socks this is stuff like if we're just chilling at the airbnb it's like a skim set a workout set and then just like a little pretty little thing tea and then these are my sleeping clothes and then then down here all of this is just bathing suits majority of them are one pieces because girl i feel bloated so that's all we're gonna do and then we have miss layla say hey <laughs> and then over here these are probably the bags that i'm gonna take i need to put these up because i'm not taking any hats this time i need to put these socks up and then these are the shoes i'm gonna take i think i'm gonna do i need to clean these off but these are my sandals or slides and then i think i'm gonna take these heels that's all i need and then my new fragrance i got for my birthday from zell I'm going to take that with me. Right, y'all your girl is done packing i am pulling up walmart i got y'all on this mount again so if y'all going like this <laughs> you know why but i'm just grabbing a few last minute things because like i told y'all i need that curl um defining cream for my hair because I, I really need to do my hair like i did it but i didn't do it so i need to touch up on my lace to find the curls so yeah i have a short list of stuff that i need to grab out of here probably like five or six things and then i'm gonna go and get me a pedicure real quick yeah i'm gonna get a pedicure because at first i was like i can just do a polish change but i'm gonna go get a pedicure and then we're gonna head home because i'm trying to go to sacheros y'all i want me some tacos so bad and they open up a sacheros and runner robbins and if y'all know or if y'all remember 
I used to kill that spot in Hinesville. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. Like, we gotta go. So let me hurry up and do what I gotta do so we can get on this road because they close at nine o'clock. I need to be leaving here no later than 7.30. Let me tell you about this girl, maybe I should I met her in Philly, and her name was Brown Sugar See, we been making love constantly That's why my eyes are a shade, blood burning The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing Y'all, I'm so sad We're dropping Layla off I'm gonna miss my baby I should have wrote the host of the airbnb and ask if layla could come but i don't know i don't know i don't know at the same time i don't want to leave layla in a house that she doesn't know at all and i'm not there but i know she will be fine Mm. But anyways, we're about to leave here and go buy some churros, get some food. It's eight o'clock. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. Woo! They close at nine o'clock, and then I think we're gonna go by my brother's house, and then go to my parents' house. And when I get there, I'm gonna relax, and the vacation will be starting. Oh my God! How I miss you! So happy! <laughs> I didn't even realize that I ate there with you in Hinesville. It look good right now. Got my tacos, y'all. I know. Literally, I she can walk over there. Yeah. Well, kind of, not really. Too far. Too far. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. My parents. It's travel day. We were supposed to leave. Six o'clock. All right, you guys. So everybody is now awake. We checking back in. We're about to get ready to hit the road. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here and get ready to start the travel vlog down to Tampa, Florida. Because by the time you guys are watching this video, we're actually in Tampa, or we're on the way back, or we're back home. So make sure y'all stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give your girl a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, share the video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join the Brookie Baby gang, because the Brookie Babies are lit. We have fun, and if you subscribe, you will have some fun too. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one, Brookie Baby. Y'all ready? Brookie, Brookie Baby! Baby!